Welcome to Getting Started in Library Publishing. My name is Jane, and in this video we will discuss Creative Commons licensing for your library publishing program. Before we begin, here are some of the things we'll be looking at in this video. First will be a short introduction. Following will be a breakdown of some of the major types of Creative Commons licenses. Then we will discuss what goes into applying Creative Commons licensing at multiple levels of your library publishing program. So what is Creative Commons licensing? It is a way for your library publishing program to make work freely available to the public. Licenses give you the option to remove barriers to reuse creative works by specifying under what conditions a user can copy, distribute, or modify a work without needing to ask for permission from the author or publisher. This ability to share and distribute the work is a key part of open access publishing, and goes beyond just making the work freely available. Even if Creative Commons licenses are not currently in use in your library publishing program, it is helpful for you and staff to understand what they are and how they work. Authors may wish to incorporate Creative Commons licensed content and may need advice on how to comply with the terms of the license. For more on advising authors on incorporating other works into their new publications, see the section titled Using Others' Work in the next unit. There are seven types of standard Creative Commons licenses available, ranging from the most open license indicated here at the top of the graphic down to the more restrictive licenses indicated lower down. We will explore each license in more detail on the next several slides. The first one is called CC0. This license allows creators to put their work into the public domain, meaning it can be reused for any sort of purpose, whether it's to remix it into a new work, an adaptation, or distributing it to others. The second is the CCBY or by attribution license, which acts like a CC0 license but with the added requirement to credit the original author. A link to the license should be provided along with a statement on how the work was altered. The CCBY license is the most open license that requires an attribution. The following licenses include additional restrictions on how the work can be reused. The third license is CCBYNC, or non-commercial. As its name suggests, any material published under this license may only be reused for non-commercial purposes, in addition to a requirement to credit the original author. The fourth license is CCBYND, where ND stands for non-derivative. A derivative is basically an adapted form of the work, such as a translation, an altered image, or writing a song based on a poem. The CCBYSA, or share alike provision, indicates that the user must apply the same Creative Commons license to any work they produce using the material. The CCBYNCND is like the CCBYND, but of course, as the NC indicates, it should only be for non-commercial purposes and its creator must be credited. And finally, the CCBYNCSA license. Like the CCBYSA license, it indicates that the user must apply the same Creative Commons license to any work they produce using the material, but only for non-commercial purposes. It is important to note that Creative Commons licenses do not replace copyright, but rather provide an extra permissions layer on top of it. The rights holder of a CC licensed publication should always be identified and is still able to grant permission for uses that fall outside of the license terms. You may find Creative Commons licenses attractive if you are committed to making publications as accessible and widely distributed as possible. Decisions about Creative Commons licensing may be made at the program, publication, or item level of your library publishing program, as seen here. You may decide at the program level that all publications supported by your library publishing program will be required to use a Creative Commons license for work they publish. When you have a clear and consistent policy requiring a particular license, it can encourage the adoption of open licensing while keeping policy simple for authors, editors, and others. CC licenses, however, may not be the right fit for every publication, and library publishers should take local needs into account when making program level licensing decisions. A default CC policy may be appropriate for units that want to move towards a universal CC requirement for their publications. Under a default policy, publications will be expected to use CC licensing, but may request an exception based on individual circumstances. At the publication level, a particular publication may require or prefer a Creative Commons license. If use of Creative Commons is being decided at this level, you should work with all responsible parties to choose the appropriate license. Finally, at the item level, each author that publishes an article in a library-hosted journal will be given the opportunity to choose a Creative Commons license for their work. If authors are empowered to select a license for their work, you should make sure that they are being provided with the information they need to make an informed decision. Any Creative Commons requirements or options should be included in author agreements and in public-facing policies and other copyright documentation. Library publishers should also be careful to follow Creative Commons guidelines for how to indicate that a work is licensed under Creative Commons. Thank you for watching this video on Creative Commons licensing for library publishing. 